Welcome boys and girls, welcome boys and girls. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome boys and girls. That was nice. Thank you, Marcel. That was a nice thing to say. Beautiful. Thank you, Sammy Witch. I hope you're having a good day, you guys. Yeah, we're good. Great. Well, friends, today we are gonna learn how to make Big Mouse. Big Mouse, you mean like Sammy Witch? Hey, that's mean. Well, Sammy Witch, I don't think he was being mean. I think he was trying to tell us that we are gonna make these things called Big Mouse, and they are kind of like a puppet. So, I don't think he was being mean. Okay, well, I forgive him. All right, good. Well, friends, let's get started and make our Big Mouse. Yay! All right, so uh, in your art pack, you had all the things for you to use to make your, um, not just a scribble, the long piece of colored paper and the small pieces of white paper and the googly eyes. Well, in your art packs, you should also have something that looks like this. It's like a accordion, all right? Um, and it's just a piece of paper like this. And this is what we're gonna use to make our big, big mouth. Now you only have one of these in your art pack, but I wanted to show you quick how you could fold this uh, paper to make a big, big mouth so that you could make another one if you wanted to. Now the great thing is, is you don't have to use white paper to make a big mouth. You could use colored paper. You could cut up a paper um, grocery bag um, to do that. But let's, let's look quick on how to do that. Let's switch cameras and uh, get busy all right here we go so this is the piece of paper you don't have this in your um art pack it's just a long narrow piece of paper all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to fold it so that it's not completely in half all right you can see I probably have about an inch and a half or so of this paper here, all right? And I'm gonna make a crease. So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna turn it so that the short side is down and the big side, the longer side is up. And I'm just gonna fold it back. And this doesn't have to be precise. But I almost kind of want to end up with a square shape like this, all right? So I had a long piece of paper and I folded it so one side was longer. And then I folded the long side back to make like a square. See? And that will make a big mouse. This is what it looks like from the back. All right, so when they get started, you wanna make sure that this is like, this is what your um, work area looks like. If you have the side with the short part up here, all right, that you're drawing on, that's not gonna work real, real, real well for a big mouse, all right? So you wanna make sure that it almost looks like this is actually the mouth part is halfway um, in our square. All right. So what I have to do now is think of a character. And we want to make sure that we draw our character from the front. So I'm just going to kind of make up, I'm going to make a frog. All right. The, most important thing to remember when making your big mouth is to know that the mouth part is going to happen where this crease is sitting all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the head and i'm going to make a frog and remember i have said before to draw light 
until it's just right. Well, I'm gonna say it again, friends. All right, draw light till it's just right. I'm gonna draw a little bit darker here because I want you to be able to see it. So this is my frog's mouth, so the top of his head, and I'm drawing his mouth. I made just a little mistake here, that's fine. All right. And then the bottom part of his mouth. It almost looks like a hamburger. Hmm, that makes me a little hungry. All right. So I am going to put the frog mouth here and here. Bugs have the big ribbit. Okay. So there is my frog's mouth. It could also be a fish for that matter. Okay. And I'm going to make some eyes for him. It's really important when you're creating this to think of all the fun details that you can add. All right. Friends, this is almost looking more like a fish. So I think I want to turn it into a fish. All right. And so I'm going to put a fin up here. See, that's the awesome thing about being an artist is you're like, hey, <laughs> this isn't working out for me, but I'm going to turn it into something else. So I have that all figured out. Now, right here is the top lip of my big mouth, and this is the bottom lip. So in the middle is where the mouth would open up, it was like a hinge, like on Marcel, for example, or Samuich, all right? So now I'm gonna open this, and you're gonna see there's this big blank space here. So what I do is I connect here and here, that's the inside of the mouse, and I'm gonna connect here and here, that's the outside of the mouse, and now, friends, I'm going to connect the head. All right. So there I go. So I have it here. Oh, look, I'm just a little fish swimming along. Don't mind me. All right. Now, I like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some teeth in here. I'm going to make it like a piranha. And there's some other teeth on the bottom. All right. And I think maybe in the middle, I'm going to have a little fish swimming because it just ate this little fish. All right. So there is my big mouth. He's swimming along, swimming along, swimming along. Wow. All right. Now, when I have it all drawn with pencil, I would like you to color it, of course, okay? I want you to definitely color your character. I want to start, I want to make this a fish. Uh, I think I'm going to make it green, all right? This light green color. So I'm gonna do my best coloring here to color in my fishy, all right? And I will keep going until everything is colored, all right? I'm going the same direction. I'm using the side of my crayon. There's no scribble scrabble here, just nice. Not too big a strokes with your crayon. And look, I'm almost finished. If I just use the tip of my crayon, it takes a lot longer to color thing in, color things in. If there's like a really small area, I'll use the tip of my crayon. 
But in general, what I like to do is use the side of my crayon because it allows me to work a little quicker and put some more color and so forth. All right, so I'm gonna open this and it means I need to color this whole thing in green. All right, and I will continue to do that. I'm also gonna color in, I'm gonna make the inside of his mouth orange. I probably won't color the teeth in because I want them to be white, or maybe actually I might color them in blue. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. But I want you to make sure you are at least coloring in your entire character. All right? And I'll color this in using the side of my crayon. And just keep on going. I also really like the way this orange and this green kind of look together. Now friends, you're gonna laugh at me, but I think I'm gonna give my fish some purple lips, all right? And I'm gonna color this whole, almost looks like the letter O here, doesn't it? I am gonna color this whole thing in, all right? With the purple crayon to make the lips, all right? So each area I'm gonna color in a different way. The only things I'm going to probably leave uncolored are maybe the teeth, maybe the background. I also like to create kind of the environment that my critter is living in. So sometimes I might color that too. And I guess I would color that blue and maybe put some other fish around it. Another thing I really, really like to do is I like to outline. And you could outline with any color really, all right? I really like to outline. You can also outline with a marker, of course, okay? Um, sometimes I really like the way that looks when you have the marker with the crayon, especially if you're outlining. Like I might wanna outline this little fishy here because he might get lost in all this coloring. All right, but that is the way a big mouth works. Wow. All right, so just remembering, all right, to make sure that you're working on the side that you have almost two even halves, all right? Second thing to remember is that this crease right here, or this area between the top part and the bottom part, that is your mouth, all right? That is where your mouth opens. This is the top lip, this is the bottom lip, all right? If you make the mouth just up here, then it's not really gonna be a big mouth, all right? So, give it a whirl, and I cannot wait to see what they look like. Make sure you take a picture and either email it to me or, attach it in the Google Classroom. Okay, we are going to end today with a mindfulness activity. Just sit where you are and you can decide to keep your eyes open or closed, all right? But we are gonna be breathing in like we are sucking out of a straw. So we're making a round little O with our mouth and it sounds a little bit like this. And when we let the breath out, it's going to sound like a snake. A hissing sound. All right, so let's try it. Let's breathe in. And out. Breathe in, breathe out. And feel how your chest rises when you breathe in and your shoulders drop 
when you breathe out. One last time. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I can't wait to see your projects. Take care of yourself and be happy. Bye.